Just about every week for the last several months I have done a hollow point test in clear ballistics gel. Almost all of these have been with cast lead bullets, but today we have a guest appearance by a popular jacketed bullet. One of the great people I met at my local range let me test some of his hand loaded 10mm bullets in his Glock. These are the 180 grain Hornady XTPs and he loaded them with 9.5 grains of long shot powder. These were shot from his Glock 20 which has a 4.6 inch barrel. The average velocity for the six shots was 1,317 feet per second. The first shot was the slowest, and if I took it out of the calculation, it would change the average to 1320, and it would drop the already low extreme spread to 8 and the standard deviation to 2.7. It appears this guy knows what he's doing in the reloading room. Shot 5 exited the top of the block after 18 and 7 8 inches of penetration and the other 5 shots had an average of 19.2 inches of penetration. The average expansion was 0.637 inches and the average retained weight was 153 grains which is an 85% retention. As you can see the nose peeled completely back on these bullets and some of the lead and jacket material was shed off in small pieces. Talking to the loader after these were shot, he stated that he had shot a couple of hogs with this load before and the bullets came out looking just like this. I didn't do any sort of rapid fire or anything other than just these six shots, but I found it rather pleasant to shoot. You can't hit a gun that comfortably carries 15 40 caliber rounds that all have 693 foot pounds of energy. That's the same muzzle energy as a 250 grain 44 bullet at just over 1100 feet per second. I've received several requests to test a number of different jacketed hollow points, and while I would love to be able to do that, I just don't have a budget for it. For the next few tests, I am planning to use the hollow points I cast up for the 1911, and I'm excited to see how those perform. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and God bless.